Suba and I'm a math expert, and today we're going to go over how to find the area of a quadrilateral given three sides and two included angles. So I'm going to draw out our quadrilateral, okay, four sides right there. Now we know two of these angles. We know this angle, we know this guy, we know these three sides. Now how do I find the area of this? The simplest way to do that is to divide it into two triangles, right here and right here, and find the area of the two triangles individually and just add them up. It's going to be much easier to do that. So to find the area of the first triangle, we just have to use the equation for the area of a triangle, which is given by one half of the two sides, a times b, and the included angle, which we already know. So sine, let's just call this guy alpha. Halfway there already know this area. Perfect. Now the second part is a little bit more tricky. We have to solve for the area of this triangle and we're going to want to use the same equation and solve for this angle in here and this side. Now to solve for this side, this diagonal going right here, what you're going to want to do is use the law of cosines. So once we use the law of cosines, can solve for this side right here, let's call it x. The second thing we're going to want to do is use the law of sines. And that is going to give us the value of this angle. Because if we look here, this diagonal breaks the angle we already know into two angles. So we can use that law of sines to solve for this guy in here. Let's call this beta. Solve for beta. And then let's just call this guy x, this angle that we're looking for. Because we already know the value of this larger angle, just call that y, we can write y equals what we solve for, beta plus x. We can then solve for this angle x. And once we know that, we just use that original area formula to have, 1 half a times b, which would be x times this value we already know, times the sine of the angle we just solved for, that would give us the area of this triangle in here. Once we have that area, all we have to do, add up the two areas together, and boom, we have the area of our quadrilateral. My name is Suba, and thank you for taking an interest in math.